So coming in at number 10, when it comes to the most critical tools you have to have before tackling any DIY home improvement electrical project, it is the circuit tester. So this is a tester that you plug into a receptacle at your house, and this will tell you whether or not, one, the circuit in the receptacle is working, and two, if it's wired up properly. So you can see here on the front, there's different codes that will light up, and there's three lights here at the bottom. These lights, when they light up, you can reference this back to this chart here, and it will tell you if everything's working properly the way it should be working, and if there's something that you need to fix. So probably the most common problem that this will help you diagnose is whether or not the hot and the neutral wires are reversed on that receptacle. So if it is, then this will light up in a specific pattern. It'll tell you that those are reversed and all you have to do is shut the power off to that circuit, then pull the receptacle out of the wall, reverse the wires, put everything back together, test it again, and you should be good to go. Something that goes hand in hand with the circuit tester that I just showed you is this circuit finder. So this is a transmitter side and this is a receiver. And what you do is it basically works the same way. You plug this into a receptacle. It tells you all the same things as a circuit tester will. But in addition to that, you can use this end and you can figure out exactly what breaker that receptacle or that outlet is on in your house. So this eliminates the guesswork of trying to figure out exactly what breaker it is. All you have to do is turn this on and scan each of the breakers. Once you find the right one, it lights up red and you can shut the power off to that specific breaker. And then you know you've killed the power to the entire circuit. So that way you can work on that circuit safely. The other cool thing about these is you can also get what's known as a cheater plug, which is a three prong uh, adapter that goes down to a two prong adapter. And then you can get one of these. This is basically a light socket adapter. And you can plug this cheater adapter into the light socket adapter. And then you can plug the tester into this. And what this lets you do is this will let you track down the exact circuit of a light fixture too. So if you're trying to figure out what circuit a light is on, for example, maybe it's a light in your ceiling in the kitchen or maybe the dining room or something like that, you can just attach this put it in and then go back to your breaker box, use the receiver and figure out exactly what circuit it's on. So this makes it really, really easy to figure out exactly what breakers to check versus having to, like I said, waste a lot of time doing the trial and error or shouting at somebody else in your house to help you determine whether or not the power's on or off. Now this isn't really a tool, but it's a must have for your toolbox. So uh, you definitely need to have some wire nuts available to make the electrical connections in the boxes, or instead of having wire nuts, you should have Wago lever nuts. So these basically do the same thing. It's just that the wire nuts are typically one time use and the lever nuts, basically you just pull them open and insert a wire and these can be reused over and over. So lever nuts, in my opinion, are a superior choice, but be sure to have one or the other in your toolkit. This is a non-contact voltage detector. So what this does is it helps us determine if there's power flowing through a receptacle or a light fixture or anything else that's powered up, even wires, uh, to determine if there's power and electricity flowing through it. If there is, then we know it's not safe to work on that part of the electrical system. And we need to go back and either flip a breaker or figure out why there's still power flowing to a location where it shouldn't be. This is just a really great way to help us stay safe when we're working on electrical projects. Now, while some people might argue that this isn't good enough to be used on its own, I think it's a way better idea than just flipping a breaker and praying that everything's off. So the way this works is you simply have to turn it on and then you'll hear a beep typically and it will flash. And then all you have to do is hold this close to something that you're testing to see if it has power or not. So I'm gonna test it on this receptacle here. So you can hear it beeped and actually lit up bright red. So that indicates that there's power going to that receptacle. So if I wanted to work on that receptacle and I thought power was off, that would tell me that it's not and I need to figure out what's wrong. Next is a screwdriver. Now, while this seems pretty basic, I wanna make sure you have a screwdriver that is insulated. If it's not insulated and you end up touching this to a live wire, well then there's a really good risk that not only can you cause a spark to happen, but you're also gonna get shocked too. So if you have an insulated screwdriver, it's just another layer of protection that you need to help stay safe when you're working on electrical projects around the house. Continuing the trend of things that are probably a no-brainer, wire strippers are essential. Um, get yourself a good pair of wire strippers because uh, it's better to have one that works well, that's quick to use, versus one that you kind of fumble around with. I know these come in a variety of different designs. This is the one I prefer here. This is another design that also works just fine. Um, the difference between these two is this is more for like electrical projects for like automotive projects versus actually just electrical projects around the house. This also includes a crimp tool up here, which you don't need for home electrical projects. Um, either one of these will work, but I do prefer this one, uh, partly because it's a little bit lower profile. It doesn't take up as much room. 
and two, I feel it, it just works better with home electrical wire than this one does. Next up, a tape measure. So this is great for measuring the distance uh, for wire potentially, measuring the location up off of the floor for electrical boxes and other various things that you might need when you're working on electrical projects. So not only is this essential for like woodworking projects, but this is also a great tool to have around when you're working on your electrical projects too. Coming in at number four, you need to have a good pair of needle nose pliers. So needle nose pliers, uh, especially ones that have a cutter built into it are critical in my opinion. There's a lot of things you need pliers for when you're completing electrical tasks. These really come in handy when you have to cut through wire, for example. So you would put this uh, Romex wire in the back here in order to crimp through and cut this. Um, if you need to create a J hook for a receptacle or for a light switch, uh, then you can just simply grab this uh, with the tip, this wire with the tip and then bend it over. There's a lot of other things you could use these for, but definitely have a good set of needle nose pliers in your toolbox. So if you're going to be installing any electrical wire in your house, then you need this. This is called fish tape. And what it's used for is it's used to fish this through the wall. It's a solid piece of metal that's pretty rigid. And what you would do is you would uh, basically take some electrical tape or something like that and attach your electrical wire to this, and then you would use this to pull the wire through the wall. So if you're gonna do any kind of a wiring uh, jobs, and it's going to be like, say, behind drywall, this is something you have to have before you start on that project. All right, now I love this thing. This is called a volt claw. So what this does is it helps you work with wire inside of a box without having to touch it. So this is something that's non-conductive. You can use it to push wires back into a box, for example. So if you're wiring up an electrical receptacle, you have all these wires in the back of the box that you need to kind of move into place while you're, while you're putting the receptacle back in or even a light switch or whatever. Then you can use this to push the wires in as well. So you don't have to get your fingers in there and kind of get everything jammed up. You can just simply use this to get everything pushed back. You can also use this to reach in and pull the wires out of a box. So that's useful if you're trying to be safe. If you're not sure if a circuit is live or not, uh, this can help you take that extra step of safety and uh, not even touch the wires to get this out of the box. So this is a great tool in my opinion, especially if you're working on a lot of different electrical projects or if you're working in uh, different situations like an electrical panel, this is a nice tool to have. And the number one electrical tool you should have, this is a multimeter. So this is great for diagnosing any kind of issue with your electrical wiring in your house. There's a lot of things that can go wrong and this can help you pinpoint exactly what the problem is, whether or not you have a short, whether or not you have an open ground, things like that. If you have a multimeter and you know how to use it, this is a critical component to have. This can help you pinpoint the exact problem so you can take care of it. So if you're working on any type of DIY electrical issue around the house, this is a must have for your toolbox. That's my top 10 pick. Is there anything I missed? Be sure to leave me a comment below and let me know what you would add to this collection. Also, if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button and also check out this other video here. I'm sure you'll like it too. All right, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.